barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, join the Patreon. Click the link in the description box. You know, I don't know about y'all, but Keith Thurman adds a level of excitement to the welterweight division, to boxing just in general, just his whole demeanor, his whole je ne sais quoi. You know what I mean? It's like uh, uh, I don't always agree with him. But I, always, I enjoy listening to him, if that makes any sense. man. I, I never know what Keith Thurman is going to say. His metaphors and analogies are absolutely entertaining. I love when he gets on his metaphysical tip and starts breaking stuff down. Feel free to look at some of the videos I did at Fox Studios. Uh, I'm definitely excited to cover him this week. I, I get in town Wednesday morning. I, I catch a red eye. I could save a night on a hotel. That's why I catch a red eye. Use the plane as a hotel. And I get to work mon Wednesday morning, excuse me. Um, but I'm interested to see if he wins. I have him beating Josecito Lopez. For those of you who don't know, Robert Garcia and I have a bet. We have a 50. I do 50 push-ups. Robert Garcia does 50 sit-ups for every every fight. We got three fights. Josecito Lopez, Abner Mares, and Mikey Garcia. So we'll we'll figure everything out March 17th. But uh, I'm real interested in Keith Thurman. I know m many of you are. Um, he's just a polarizing figure. You know, I'm not going to put him on the level of Mike Tyson, obviously, or Floyd Mayweather. But there's something about Keith Thurman that, that keeps me engaged. And I can tell by the reactions of the comments, he ignites something in many people. I, I saw the comments, you've been out for two years. Keith Thurman, you know, like he has some of the most quotable lines in the last five years in boxing. You know, I, I can't sound like him, so it won't sound as good. But uh, uh, I'm glad Keith Thurman's back. I'm really, really glad Keith Thurman is back. Um, I'm definitely interested in assuming he wins. He's favored to win. Uh, I'm interested in his post-fight interview. I'm interested in his post-fight interviews, you know, um, He's good for boxing, man. I, I don't know if he's going to assume the villain role like WWE or WWF or he's going to be like um, bad turning good. Like remember Sting was a good guy. Then he turned bad when he went to the WCW, whatever it is. And then he ended up being good again. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know what personality or how the fans will receive him Saturday night. But I'm really interested in how the fans will receive Keith Thurman when his song comes on. Um I saw a video or a picture of him two weeks ago. I posted it on my Instagram. He had a red shirt on, and he looked good. So I'm assuming he's going to make weight. He's a WBA champion. He doesn't want to lose his belt on the scales when he didn't lose it in activity for 22 months. So I think March 3rd against Danny Garcia. I know it was the first week in March two years ago was his last fight, but Overall, we have another player at the welterweight division, and they're busy. Uh, they're obviously not fighting each other, but the welterweight division is busy with fight dates, and that keeps the that keeps me engaged. That keeps you engaged, and hopefully, we get some sort of unification by the end of the year. Whether it's uh, we got the four champions, we have uh, Earl Spence, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, and Terrence Crawford. We have these four guys vying for welterweight supremacy and uh they all have fight dates literally all have fight dates and i'm wondering so at the end at march 17th no april 21st i apologize april 21st the dust will settle and we'll see if we get some unification bouts but up until then i'm happy that keith thurman is back um as i said when he retired before, prior to him retiring, I had him the number one welterweight in the world. Uh, he was a unified. After when, that Sunday morning, after he beat uh, Danny Garcia, I had him the best welterweight in the world. Um, I like his skill set in between his ears and his physical skill set. I, I, I believe him to be a, a high-level talent um, just overall. You know, it's not just with his fists. So, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, are you happy Keith Thurman's back? For me, I'm happy, you know. Um, 
he's definitely video worthy every week for something he's going to say, something he's going to do. And uh, it's fight week for him, so we'll be hearing a lot more from Keith Thurman. And uh, have you make sure you guys hit your notification buttons because you guys know once fight week come, I'm giving y'all 20, 30 videos a day. You know what I mean? I'm a one-man army asking the questions that you guys want to hear. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of unification bouts. Uh, assuming he looks good, will he shorten the calendar? Will he shorten the anticipated date of unifying? Because remember he said he doesn't see himself fighting Keith, no, excuse me, uh, Earl Spence until next year. He probably wants to fight three times, but it's only January and things can happen. And uh, But we'll see, man. But it's just... It's, it's just exciting times, man. It's uh, I'm thankful to y'all that I get to cover these fights. Uh, keep on watching the videos. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, just watch the videos and uh, watch the commercials. And I'll be able to uh, keep continuously covering these fights for y'all and asking the questions that you guys definitely want answered. So, um, and, um, so yeah, man. So that's it, man. Um, I get in Wednesday, first thing in the morning, seven, eight o'clock, somewhere in there. I should be in Brooklyn by nine 30. And, uh, I think media day is at Gleason's and, uh, that's where I'm gonna work out too. So if I have anybody in New York, um, uh, I wouldn't mind a workout partner for the next couple of days. So I'm, I'm probably going to work out Thursday morning and Friday morning. Uh, I'm going to a Nick game Wednesday night. The Knicks are playing the Houston Rockets. So I may be doing that Wednesday night, but, um, I'm going to work out Thursday morning, Friday morning, and real early Saturday morning. So if anybody out there want to work out at Gleason's gym with me, let me know. We can do it together. I think it's like $20 a day to work out there. So I'll be doing it. I'm real excited about working out at Gleason's. I'm going to run the Brooklyn Bridge, get a workout in, and come back and, you know, do the whole. I'm, I'm taking my workout that I do in L.A. to New York. So Because I'm in camp, road to Dallas. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what's up with that. So. I haven't been posting much about that stuff because all you guys care about fight week is the fighters. I'm not the most important subject on fight week, so I won't be posting much of my workouts, but I'll be doing them. So uh, hopefully that inspires y'all to keep your New Year's resolution, uh, whether it's a fitness goal, a mental health goal, but it all starts with health, right? Whether it's uh, your spiritual health, your physical health, whatever the case may be. But anyways, man, shout out to everybody out there. We rocking and rolling. I get there first thing Wednesday morning. As I said for the 14th time in this video. And Keith Thurman is back, y'all. Keith, the mystery man, Keith Thurman is back. And I'm happy that you're back, Keith Thurman. I'm happy. I can't wait to interview you. I literally can't wait. I, I can't wait for you to go on um, your uh, your psychological uh, one-man shows. Like, like, he's very eloquent in answering questions. And I love that about Keith Thurman. I absolutely love that about Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, um, so it's, it's a good card, too. Uh, you, you got the uh, the Russells are there. You got two Russells fighting. Um, I'm real interested in Gerald Washington's. Uh, uh, he's fighting Adam Kornoski. I'm real interested in Adam Kornoski. Uh, maybe he can be an opponent for a guy like a Dillian White, something like that. Or maybe he can uh, uh, fight a Dominic Brazil if they can get the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Uh, contract done or if Dillian White signs a contract I would love to see Dillian White fight either of those two guys Adam Kornowski or um, what's the other guy's name Adam Kornowski assuming Adam Kornowski beats Gerald Washington or Gerald Washington beats Adam Kornowski that would be a tough fight to break down you know maybe that would be my fight I broke down I got Manny Pacquiao right again this week um um, so that I forget what my record is, and uh, but I thank God I didn't have time to break down Marcus Brown and um, uh, Badu Jack. I didn't have time. So, Y'all yeah, was asking me in, a, in my DM, and I said I didn't have time to break it down because I couldn't. I didn't have time to do two fights, but I think I would have linked towards Badu Jack if uh, um, if I had to broke that fight down just based off of my my knowledge and Marcus Brown's underwhelming. Last couple of opponents, he has been underwhelming. So I believe he was knocked down sometime last year or something like that, if my memory serves me correctly. So I'm glad I didn't break that down. So I'm glad I broke down Manny Pacquiao and um, uh, Adrian Broner. So anyways, man, um, uh, barbershop conversations, man. 
feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll say this again, stay engaged and in tune with me. Hit that notification button. Any questions you guys have, I'm staying in the same hotel as them, okay? And they will be very accessible. I'm going to work out with them every morning. They're going to be in the gym cutting weight, and I'm going to be in the gym on a treadmill running with them. If I, if I don't run to Brooklyn Bridge, I'll be with them early in the morning because they got to do their media stuff during the day. So they either go real late at night or real early in the morning. I'll be working out literally right alongside with them. You know, uh, Chris Colbert is fighting, the Russells, Adam Kornowski, uh, Keith Thurman, uh, Josecito Lopez, the whole Garcia team will be there. So it's just going to be a it's going to be a real fun event. I know the um, this bout seemed very predictable, but like this week, um, like this past weekend, it was uh, B.Y. Jennings' loss. Um, I forget the guy's name, but uh, at 140, his first fight at 140, he lost. He just fought Loma, and um, he lost. Put it in the comment section. I don't know why I'm thinking of Corolla, but it's not Corolla. Oh, Linares. Linares. So uh, anything can happen. Did Keith Thurman get old? Did his muscles get dormant? You know, we don't know. We're all excited to see. So anyways, man, I'm excited as you guys are. I have the same questions you guys have. Is Keith Thurman back? And if Keith Thurman's back, we got a major player. We have a major player in the welterweight division, and he ain't going to be shy about letting us know, and that's why I appreciate Keith Thurman. That's why we all fell in love with, with Keith Thurman when he was 17 and 0, and he ain't afraid to let his O go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Barbershop conversation. I'll holler. Peace.